How's everybody doing today? This is Corey Lee's Boxing, and we are back with another banger. So please smash the hell out of that like button, you guys, and subscribe. And yeah, man, we're going to talk about American heavyweight Jared Anderson, you guys. Yes, man, he is making his reign, and um, he's coming strong, man. Um, he just got um, he just got finished beating. Um, he just got finished winning this past Saturday um, against Majan Rovacan, twenty four and three with sixteen big wins by way of knockout. If you guys didn't know, Jared Anderson is 20, 12 and zero with twelve big wins by way of knockout. Um, he had no problems uh, with Rovacan. Um, knocking him out, I believe, in the second round. Um, it was a really good fight um, for as long as it lasted. Um, Anderson, you know, was on offense, offense, offense. We haven't really seen Jared Anderson tested that much lately. Um, but he did make, he did, you know, he did say some names. And uh, one of the names he said, or the key name that he said was uh, Philip Herkovich. If you guys don't know who that is, he just fought, I uh, believe, either last week or, or two weeks ago. He just fought uh, Zeli Zhang, which was 24-0 and 0, with 19 big wins by way of knockout. Philip Herkovich was 14-0 and 0 with 12 big wins by way of knockout. So they fought each other. Um, Philip Herkovich got dropped, um, I believe it was early in the fight. Um but it did go to full, I believe it was a 12-round fight. Um, and Herkovich did get the unanimous decision, or split decision, excuse me. And a lot of people said it was controversial. Um, a lot of people said that Zhang, you know, did enough to get the win. Um, you know, Zhang actually hurt Herkovich. Uh, but Zhang was actually hurt, I believe, a couple of times himself. So it was a back-and-forth type of brawl, uh, type of battle. Um, you know, Philip Herkovich showed, you know, holes. And his game plan that, you know, a lot of people didn't probably see that he had, you know, but he was tested. And a lot of these heavyweights, once they get tested, you start to see the real the real guy. You know, you start to see the smoke and mirrors are gone. Um, you start to see what you're dealing with when the punches are start actually flying back at you. And um, that's exactly what happened in the Philip Herkovich fight. Um, you know, the punches were flying back at him so fast and uh, he got caught. You know, he got caught by a guy that a lot of people didn't really respect his power. Um, you know, Zhang, you know, wasn't really a threat in the heavyweight division, you know, until now. I feel like I feel like with this fight, a lot of fans, you know, caught the attention of Zhang. And even though he lost, I feel like he still gained the, the respect of some of the fans. Um, like I said, you know, Jared Anderson had a different type of opponent. He had a guy that already had three losses, you know, Herkovich. Versus Zane, both guys were undefeated. Somebody's O's got to go. And it was Zane's. Um, I believe it was a split decision. Um, but it was a controversial decision. Um, and I think that's why Jared Anderson might see, you know, he might say, hey, you know, he got, you know, a gift decision. But um, I'm not here to have any decisions, you know, and I want to fight him straight up. Um, and I want that to be my next fight. Is pretty much what Jared Anderson said. He said he, you know, a feature of, you know, he mentioned this. His future goal is um is to fight, you know, Fika Herkovich, um, which I think, you know, Philip Herkovich versus Jared Anderson. I think that'll be a good stylistic matchup. Um, you know, two long rangy guys um to have power. Um, Philip Herkovich, like I said, is fifteen and zero with twelve big wins by way of knockout. And Anderson's 12 and 0 with 12 big wins by way of knockout. Um, you know, Philip Herkovich, like I said, his last performance was probably one of his worst performances I've ever seen out of him. Um, he has been, you know, inconsistent um, with his fight dates. I mean, he's fought, you know, once a year at times. And I mean, his his uh, his career has just been up and down. As for Jared Anderson, he's just coming off of a hand injury being out one of the longest layoffs of his career, which was eight months. And um, I think his trajectory is going up, 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 in a way, because that's, you know, a, a key factor in Jared Anderson is, you know, he's signed by legendary promoter um, Jay Prince. And, um, you know, he doesn't have that many fighters. He had Shakur Zevison. Um, he had Andre Ward. For a little while, he did have Floyd Mayweather Jr., so he just doesn't he just doesn't pick 
you know, just anybody. I believe he has F.A. Jogba on his um on one of his fighters as well. I believe F.A. Jogba left PBC to join Jay Prince. Um and yeah, man, um, you know, I would love to see these two guys fight Philip Herkovich versus Jared Anderson. Um, like I said, it'd be a power thing. Who could take whose power the best? I think they definitely both will get tested in this fight. Um, if this fight ever were to go down and if this fight possibly were to go down this year, I would have to favor Jared Anderson because Jared Anderson is boxing is what have you done for me lately? And um, both of these guys' fights, I think Jared Anderson looked a hell of a lot better. But the opponent, you know, Zhang versus, you know, Zhang, Zhang versus Ro Rovacane. You know what I mean? I can't even pronounce his name like that. I mean, I've ever heard of the guy Rovacane too many times. I've heard of Zhang's, you know, he's pretty big out there. I believe he's from China. Um, he's pretty big. They said, you know, he's got to like 18 million views out there in, 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 in China on his last fight or something crazy like that. And he's got the he's he's got the 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 um the backing of his country for sure. Um and yeah, man, like I said, you just don't see too many, you know, good heavyweights from China. Um, but we'll see, man. Um Philip Herkovich did get the win. So we'll see how this goes. Right now, my early prediction is Jared Anderson possibly stopping Philip Herkovich um, mid to late in the fight. Um, if Philip Herkovich came in his shape and the same type of um, fighter that he was in his last fight against Zhang, I think he gets stopped. Jared Anderson is, you know, coming off an eight month layoff. I know he's going to want to get right back in the ring again. Um, and I just want to see this fight. I want to see this fight in so many different ways, so many for, for, for so many different reasons. I want to see both fighters tested, and I think they will get tested in this fight. And I can't wait to see how this fight goes, man. I know you guys at home are like, man, you know, this will be a good fight, uh, stylistically a good matchup, and I think this will be an entertaining fight. We got to pay, you know, $75 for Andy Ruiz versus, uh, you know, Luis Ortiz. Uh, why not put something like this on the undercard, you know what I mean? Obviously, you know, Philip Perkovich, I believe, fights with the zone and um, Jared Anderson fights with ESPN. I don't even know how this fight's going to even happen, but um, I would love to see it, man. You know, Jared Anderson has a 100 percent knockout ratio. Um, will he be able to keep that ratio fighting a guy like, you know, um, Philip Perkovich? Um, I would love to see this fight, man. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section, man, please, on this one. Um, and yeah, man, we'll talk to you guys on the next boxing video, man. This is Corley Boxing, and you've definitely been hit with another banger.